want to manage expectations. It has happened. Top Gun 3 is in production just a couple days after Tom Cruise's new deal with Warner Brothers. So what do we already know? What does the new deal mean? And when can it get released? It's like 99% certain that Tom will reprise his role as Maverick alongside Miles Teller as Rooster and Glenn Powell as Hangman due to their significant roles in Top Gun Maverick. And whilst Top Gun Maverick co-writer Aaron Kruger has already started writing the script, Joseph Kaczynski may direct once more with Jerry Bruckheimer and David Allison as the producers. Now about the new Tom Cruise Warner Brothers deal. It's good to note that the deal is non-exclusive which means that Tom is still free to work on Paramount movies, such as Top Gun 3 and Mission Impossible 8. And speaking about sequels, some people still have expectations of him making a sequel for Edge of Tomorrow, or even a sequel for his 1993 film, The Firm. And that could be a problem for Top Gun 3 fans because... Well, that's the problem. With the new Warner Brothers deal, you can... Obviously, expect that he's going to make Warner Brother movies. Plus, he still has work on Mission Impossible 8. Therefore, it's easily possible that Tom won't be available to work on a Top Gun 3 until at least 2025 or 2026. And even if its production and release is earlier than expected, it still has its share bit of risks, such as a lack of innovation. Now, don't get me wrong, the technology that was used in Top Gun Maverick is still amazing, even in 2024. But it was also something that set the sequel apart from the 1986 Top Gun. And if you do the same thing twice, it may not work as well. But of course with Tom Cruise, you never know what crazy idea he's going to work out next.